Hello everybody, I'm Robert, the CEO and co-founder at Cloud Sigma. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can separate your cloud service to ensure you have high availability. It's a functionality we call Advanced Server Start, and I'll show you how to do that within the web app. So I'm already logged in and you can see the dashboard here. So I'm gonna go into Compute, which is where we can see all of our servers. So now let's assume that um, I have two servers that I want to make sure are not located on the same infrastructure. Um, our resource allocation system has the ability to actually filter out single points of failure um, and ensure that we're able to um, separate different servers from each other. So you'll see here at the top, we have the play button, which represents what we call a standard start. This is a normal server start, but we also have something called an advanced start. And this is what we're gonna look at in this tutorial. So if I click on this advanced start, you will see that I can see this server, which I was just working on, the FreeBSD server. So I say, yes, I want to start that server. And then I can say, um, actually, I'm going to start this Debian server as well. And I want them to avoid each other. And so what this is going to do is it's going to ensure that those two servers are located on um, separated infrastructure. So it removes single points of failure within um, our cloud infrastructure to allow you to um, ensure that if one of those servers failed or infrastructure that's serving one of those servers failed, it wouldn't affect the other server. That's the principle. So a typical use case for this would be to have, um, for example, two servers, a gate, two gateway servers in failover. Um, if you're doing clustered databases, uh, many of our customers use that and they are able to, with this, create two, three, four, five or more database instances and ensure that they're separated out across the cloud infrastructure. So now all I have to do is hit advanced start and that's really it, it's that simple. Those two servers will now start and they'll be started on separated infrastructure. So as you can see, these two servers are now started up and running. So they are also separated. So if, if we're able to run these now in a high availability setup. And that in a nutshell is the aim and the function of the advanced start. I hope you found this video useful and happy computing.